Noah Baldridge, a nine-year-old junior golfer from Virginia, Kentucky, has set out to make his dreams a reality at a young age. A kid that has over 50 victories to his name, already looking to make a name for himself in the golf world. So young and so talented in a game that's a pastime of many, Noah Baldridge, a nine-year-old junior golfer from Virginia, Kentucky, is a name that you'll want to remember. At 18 months old, he picked up his first club, and he's been swinging away ever since. He started hitting golf balls basically from the time he could walk, and we would just line up toy golf balls in the house, and he would just go to town with practice clubs. Uh, we've never had him anywhere for a lesson or anything like that, just... The good Lord gave him the swing he's got, and we've worked on it, and we watch videos sometimes, and we'll see little tips in books, and that's pretty much how he's learned to play. And there's times that I get onto him that he don't practice enough, but when you get him on the golf course, he just does not want to leave. Uh, there's times that he gets pretty mad when I tell him it's time to go, that he's got school tomorrow, or those kind of things. His favorite thing would be the golf course. You ask him, you know, there's no school today, Noah. What do you want to do? Can we go golfing? Or, um, you know, what's your favorite sport? Golf. A little guy with a big swing and over 55 wins under his belt, ranking fifth in the U.S. Kids Golf World Championships. Tell me about some of the awards you've won. It was top five out of like 120 some. I played with the same ball in all three days of that tournament, so now it sits up there on our trophy rack with the ball inside the trophy. Every weekend, Noah and his family travel to different tournaments across the U.S. to compete for more titles. But during those off days, it's practice, practice, practice for the Baldridge family. One of the things I really like about the golf, too, is what it's teaching him. Is, you know, golf ain't like baseball or basketball or football where you have an umpire or a referee watching every move you make. In golf, you kind of have to umpire yourself. And there's times if you do something and you make a boo-boo that maybe somebody else didn't see, you're supposed to call it on yourself. And that's what I love about Noah. There's times that maybe if we're just practicing and I don't see something, he'll kind of look and he'll say, Dad, I, I just made a mistake. And it's teaching him to be honest. I mean, it's just teaching him. The, the game of golf is teaching him more than just how to be an athlete, but it's kind of there's certain things in golf that teach him how to be a better person as well. I've got about 125 yards in. So that would be a hybrid. Whenever I get back here, I just look on my line and pick a target. On this one, it's a par five. You want to get it in five, but four is good and three is even better. Just pick my target, just a couple practice ones. Line up, get your target, just hit it. When you talk to kids about golf, what do you tell them? That you should play. Try to play. It don't matter if you're good or not. Just play. Just have fun. Practice makes perfect. Along the way, Noah has met some of his favorite golfers as he dreams of being in the big leagues one day. I met Jordan Spieth, and he just said, Hi, how are you? And I said, Good. And I was in Tennessee for a tournament one day and we met Scott Stallings, another player. I just went up and shook his hand. It's just com I'm just very competitive. I want to grow up and win the Masters. As Noah looks forward to accomplishing his dreams, he always keeps an inspirational reminder right next to him. Philippians 3.13, look forward to what's in front of you, not behind you. Reporting in Pikeville for EKB Sports, I'm Michaela Mattings.